So your tool changes alarm down. And maybe you're thinking, how am I gonna get my machine running again? Well, here at Haas, we call that tool changer recovery. I'm Andrew, and today we're gonna walk you through the basics of recovering your side mount tool changer. Now, before we get into the specifics of the recovery process, there's one thing you need to remember before anything else. Tool changer recovery on a Haas always starts with this button right here, the recover button. There are some differences in the side mount recovery process between the many machine configurations that Haas has built over the years. But the basics of recovery always stay the same. Either the machine puts the tools back where they came from in automatic mode, or you manually remove the tools from the double arm when you're in manual mode. Either way, once the tools are taken care of, you simply return the arm and the tool pocket to their home positions and you're done. So let's get started and take a look at automatic recovery. I see that I've got this 2066 tool changer fault alarm down here. Now on some versions of software, you're gonna get an alarm immediately. On other versions, you won't get one until you try to do something like start the spindle or program. Either way, don't worry. You're not gonna hurt the machine. The only thing that the control is gonna allow you to do at this point is recover the tool changer. So we have this 2066 alarm here. Let's go to the alarms page and see what it has to say about that alarm. It tells us that the tool changer is not in a safe position and that we need to press recover. So let's do that. Press recover. Now it gives me the option of either restoring the tool changer or recovering a tap. I'm gonna press F1 to restore the tool changer. I press reset. And now I can press A to start automatic recovery. Let's do that. The double arm returns the tools to where they came from and tool changer recovery is complete. I press E to exit. That was pretty easy. Now, it's unusual for this to happen, but if automatic recovery doesn't work for some reason, the machine is gonna kick you into manual recovery mode. If you've got an older machine, then you're probably already familiar with manual recovery. So, I have the option of pressing M to engage manual recovery. So let's press M. Now, there's a lot going on in this screen right here, but basically, this is the screen where you manually control the tool changer. I can rotate the arm back and forth, I can lift the pocket up and down, actuate the drawbar, and so forth. Now, this notification on screen tells me that I need to remove all the tools and then rotate the arm in the reverse direction to its origin position. Now, I need to get those tools out of the arm, and the arm's in a position where I can reach one of the tools, but I'm gonna go get some work gloves first. So I got my gloves on, we're gonna get that tool out of there. I'm gonna press this plunger and then give this thing a firm pull. And you gotta remember, you can only do that by depressing that plunger. Otherwise, it's gonna be really difficult and you're probably gonna break something. So now, I need to rotate that arm so I can get access to the other tool. I'm gonna hit ATC reverse to get that thing as close as I can. Okay, so I've got the arm to where I can reach that second tool. We'll go in here. Now don't forget to press that plunger or it's really hard to get these tools out. Now, I can continue rotating the arm until it reaches the origin position. So now I see the notification that the arm's at origin and it's asking me to raise the pocket up. I do that by pushing the up arrow. There it goes. Now it's telling me no mana recovery action is required. And it's time for me to press E to exit. Tool changer recovery is complete. Now, I like to check which tools were removed by going to the active tool window. I press MDI, and here, the window's gonna tell me the two tools that were just in that arm. Now I can update the tool table. Now, just to recap, there are two key things to remember that will make the tool changer recovery process easy. Number one, press the recover button to start the tool changer recovery process. And number two, don't blow through these screens. Take your time to read the information carefully. Now, the tool changer recovery process we just finished covering is gonna handle most of your common tool changer faults. But there are times when the recover button is not gonna fix your problem. Maybe you've got fluctuating air pressure or poor tool maintenance. In those cases, you need to talk to your Haas factory outlet so they can help you out with your specific problem. 
here's a list of the top five ways you can keep your tool changer running in tip-top shape. Provide the correct air pressure and air volume to the machine. Periodically lubricate the double arm V grooves, plungers, and slider cap. Use the correct pull studs, keep them greased, and monitor their condition. Don't use tool holders with worn or damaged tapers. Keep your tool holders and the spindle taper clean. Thanks a lot for watching this video.